What's going on? People of YouTube. It's your boy, Blue Raven. Back. Blue Raven Gaming. And Dark Souls Remastered. And we are in Ulusil. We're actually in the dilapidated town of Ulusil now that we've beaten um, Artorias. Yeah, we beat Artorias in the last um, uh, video. And now we're going to take this chick on. She's not that difficult. Uh, I like to kick her and make her stand up like, stand up, chick. We're not, stand up when I'm talking to you. No. I mean, you can give it to her. I don't know what happens if you give it to her. I might give it to her like on New Game Plus, but for now, I kind of want to get his sword. So, yeah, you're, you're getting poked. And she will, she will throw stuff at you to keep you from healing. Not that difficult though. See now she's gonna, now that I've lost life, she's gonna start throwing healing shit at me. Those, hey, hey, knock that shit off. Ow. You know what? She, her weapons remind me of the dancer from three. Uh huh. And she has so much poise. Because that would stagger a normal invader. You're dead. Oh, you humans. How, you humans? So, we got the dark silver tracer and the gold tracer. Which, again, reminds me of. Uh, we got the lore. Pros How do you say that? Prosillion? mask. Let's check it out. Let's look at the Lord see if she was, in fact, a Knight of Gwyn. Where is your mask? Oh, there it is. Uh, the Cyclops headpiece is common in all Lord the Blades, but Kareen was determined to earn this soft porcelain mask as unique decoration of honor. This, The mask is lined with ivory locks of hair. One of the four knights of Gwyn, so Lord B Lord Blades, uh, Kareen. So Kareen was the final knight. So we do see all four knights of Gwyn in this game. She was the last one. She was actually the easiest of them all. Because if you go, tell you what, I'm not gonna do it. My uh, my brother said I should do it. Uh, I talked to a friend. And he was like, I didn't do it. Um, I already got his ring, and I don't want his bow. In fact, now that I realize how you get his bow, I'm leaving Hawkeye Goff alone. He's just gonna be an NPC to me. Uh, let's go ahead and kindle and kindle this again because this area is cancerous. I did this area, um, my other character, and yeah, it's a lot of just um, stuff. We're, we're actually not gonna be using pyromancies in this one. We're actually gonna go here and we're gonna be using put the skull lantern in here. You'll see why. So the, the because of uh, the corruption that's happened in Ulusil, the abyss that the abyss is taking over, the darkness, the abyss, whatever you want to call it, is taking over. This is what the people of Ulusil look like now. And correct me if I'm wrong, but do they not look like characters from Bloodborne? Like, don't they have like a resemblance of like, like the like those not. Not like the normal characters, but like the those big things that were on the side of the buildings that had like all the arms and ten Ooh man. Ah Die. There we go. Die. These guys drop large titanite if I believe. Yeah. So these are also another good form of farming large titanite. Um let's go ahead and heal up. Uh no, those guys that were on the side of the buildings that had a bunch of arms and a whole bunch of eyes on their head, that's kind of what these guys remind me of. These short, small versions of these. So we haven't unlocked a shortcut yet, so we can't use that yet, but we will. And it'll be it'll be nice because you'll be like, oh my god, I need, I'm almost, I was, literally when I did this on my other character, I had no Estus and I was down to like a smidge of health when I found that, when I found the shortcut back to the bonfire. And I was like, yep, I'm kindling this bonfire. Because... <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't find everything, so, and, yeah. 
Oh yeah, the and those ch that hurts a lot. Now there is a pendant you can get later that you can use. It's a one-time use to reflect uh, dark damage. See, look at that damage. That's insane. Insane amount of damage that that does. Oh, let's let's. I, I wanted to show you. I want to wear. I want to wear her armor. Oh, hold on. Before he saw me, so. Okay, now we can put it on. There it is. Lord of Blades. And we're going to put her gloves on. We shouldn't be... Oh yeah, that's right. we got to switch. Nothing sees me. No. I'm sitting here being crazy. Uh, we're going to put Havel's Ring back on. Oh, there's Havel's Ring. Yeah, we're fast rolling. So, I, I kind of like this look. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. This is the way my other character looks. Honestly, this, I swear to God, this is exactly how my other character looks. So I have, I have the shadow gauntlets on, and I have her legs. So that's how this is how my other character looks. Exactly like that. And I'm still not powerful. I just don't like those pointy ass shoes. <laughs> All right, let's go with how heavy is that? Six point four, which is not bad for a chest piece. Uh, okay, oops. I want to change his legs. Ornstein's are seven. How does Ornstein's look? I mean, they kind of match it up. Uh, no, let's go with. I need something that's like a garb. No. So that kind of covers my legs up. What well, Havels? Yeah. Mid roll with Havels legs. Look at them big ass legs. Love Havels legs. I want to do my I want to do my um, my uh, ghouls and ghosts build where I look like the guy from Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, you, you use Havel's legs and then you use like knight armor. And it looks uh, and Dark Souls. I did it in Dark Souls three. Um, anyways, let's put our that mask back on. Um, we're not gonna use Havel's. I was just joking. Uh, what about Silver Knight? No. I'm trying to find a good that's not too heavy. All right, well, shadow leggings it is. I mean, we look stupid, but we got a little. We got a little bit more armor wearing. This is the whole thing. We have a little bit more. And then, do we have a shield that's better for magic defense? Because this is does not. It's uh, dark. Uh, physical magic is thirty. So let's see. We we'll use the. We we'll use this one. What is this one? What the hell? I don't even know which one I picked. The Crest Shield. Yeah. Crest Shield has good magic defense. I don't know if it... Then. There we go. So we were... So we got invaded. He's going to be behind me. This is a turd. This is, this is that guy we were talking to. He invaded us. Roundhouse. Oh, that should hit you. Oh shit. Let's heal up. What is that? He's throwing roses at us or what? What the hell is that shit? You're dead, dude. Don't invade me again. We'll bust you up, sucker. Sucker. Mischievous. Okay, anyways. Um we at nine minutes yeah so and now we now that he's invaded you can go back and kill him now he serves absolutely no purpose once you want you don't want to kill him before he invades you no oh, it's, a mimic. it's okay I don't mind being hollow <laughs> I was like no I thought that uh, there's two mimic chests uh, in this area that I found and both of them and my other character killed me and that one killed me too and uh... <laughs> it killed me again <laughs> no. um. alright we have a hundred thousand souls on the line here people we need to get it back oh 
Oh, get wrecked. Man, these guys aren't worth too many souls. I mean, it's not it's not too bad. They're, they're one, they are one-shot kills. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt as bad as normal. So, however my armor is set up, it's doing a little bit better because I'm taking a little bit less damage than I normally take from that, that attack. So that's not bad. Right. Wait, I want to see. And we went, we we're, we're supposed to go this way, but I went the wrong way, so we're going to go grab our souls and come back. We're not supposed to go, I mean, we can go this way, but we're going to go, th there's another way we can go that'll make it a little bit easier for us, or not a little bit easier, but there's more, there's more loot to be got. We're not, I don't know if we're going to do this all in one video either. Cover loss, and let's check this dude up. Ready, and... Ah, don't get up. Very good. Let's go ahead and heal up. We're heading back. We're gonna be coming back here anyways. That's a cool. That that that's that's pretty cool. You can actually see that right here. See that item? Like, see, there's items we gotta get, and I wanna make sure we get them. So we go this way, and then we go this way. And then we go this way. We go down these stars. Poke him. See, that item will be coming around to get. We want to walk off here. And uh, I don't think there's an item over here. That was a crystal lizard that's on this that we didn't get yet. Oh, yeah. That's why. See, look. Let there be light. And that's, I'm offline, so that's not somebody who put that there. That's the, the game put that there. I'm just making sure. There's the silver pendant. We'll be using that against the, fi the final boss's area. And just making sure I, I didn't remember anything. Nope. All right, we're gonna go this way. Are we at 12 minutes in? Okay. And again, I don't even know which day this video is coming out on. So, who are you grabbing at? First, this next, this next little part's tricky. Uh, these wizards, there's two of them, and we got, and there's a chest down here. There's three chests down here, but only one of them's open. So we gotta run. And don't let that happen. Oh yeah, look at that block. Man, this shield blocks that way better. Like, that was none. So it's two chests, and then there's this one. I knew that one wasn't. And you get Dark Orb, but they've been shooting at us. Which, by the way, if you if you watch my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, you guys know how much I love Dark Orb. Love it. Love it. I want, it. I want some more of it. I don't know what she's what her point is here oh she gives you the I'm sorry carving I'm like because other than that she, she, she's completely out of place um, yeah, uh, you know. So uh, uh, EMB, e when he first did this play, this is what he did. He killed everything and then he went th walked through the area just holding lantern. Just to see if there was any hidden areas. There's that item that we saw earlier. I said we would get. So Brave Warrior, interesting. And we can just drop off here. And then we're going to jump across. That's right. There we go. And there's a, there is a crystal lizard that spawns here. Good job. And if we go up to the top up here, you guys will recognize where this is. This is where we just were. 
So we, now we've gone in a circle. We've cleared that area. We've gone in a circle. Now we got to start working our way down these stairs. Uh, there's a guy right here. Ouch. See, this armor build that I have set up now, I'm taking a lot less damage. Hey, chill out. Than I was with my other character, so I might fix that. You're for laughing. You don't laugh at me. This next area is difficult, a little bit difficult too. 15, okay. We're doing alright. There's another guy here. Look at all the abyss goo. The darkness. That's what I want to call it, the darkness. But I, it's, I think it's called like abyss. How oh, it's corrupted everything. Rubbish. And when I got the rubbish, I th instantly thought, oh, pull up my lantern because. Ow. Where'd you come from? I only remember two of you coming in here. Let's heal up. Because I instantly thought, if he, if it gives me rubbish, there's got to be like a hidden door here somewhere. And I couldn't find one. So I guess there's not. That dude's mad over there. You mad, bro? You mad? Oh, wait. Can I drop down right here? I can. Ooh, it's gonna be some fall damage. Let's heal up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that wasn't even as bad as a lot. Okay, that's so much easier than the way I was doing it on my other car. I was coming down the stairs and then running around trying to get them before they got me. Way easier. So we wanna we wanna kite these two. Come here. There we go. Without getting that wizard on, or whatever that hell that thing is on top, to shoot its dark orbs at us. Let's go. Come on. There we go. There's an item out here we can grab. Whole is soul of a hero. Interesting. I like me some souls of some heroes. So there's an item there that we'll knock down that we will get here in just a minute. These guys will. I think one of them will follow me up these stairs if I remember correctly. Yeah. There we go. Which makes that little area just a little bit more tolerable when we actually have to go down there. See that there. Wait, what area is that? Oh, they knocked it down already. Okay. Just making sure no hidden areas. That I didn't miss on my first playthrough of this. Hey, you. You're dead. And then, uh. We're gonna drop down here. Oh, wait. That's. That was nothing. I mean, to do that. Don't do that. This is where I was like. You had to keep staying on these because there is a hidden wall in here. There it is. And I th think this is a mimic. Nope. Red. Red type 8 check. And then we can walk over here. No. No, 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 no. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to be. Okay. I'm trying to remember where to go now. That's where we need to go. We need to go over here. That's a mimic right there. That, my sir, is a mimic. This is the other one that killed me. And now we have the key to get to Hawkeye Goff. That's the key you need to get to him. Too large. Wow, he gave me two. Isn't he nice? What's
Oh yeah, we do need to go down there. But first... Uh, we want to go down the ladder. Where's the ladder? There it is. Let's go down this ladder. Oh yeah. Where are we at? 20 minutes! Ah! Uh, what, son? Give me my dark fog. <laughs> um, this is the shortcut back. This will get us back to the bonfire. There's our shortcut. Let's go and unlock that real quick. Alright, I said there was a shortcut. Oh, here it is. So now we can go talk to Hawkeye Goff, which we need him to shoot down the dragon. Shows you how good of a. Uh, I'll, uh, it'll show you how good he is as, as a dragon slayer uh, with his bow when you actually see, see him, and it's like, what? Alright. But we weren't done over here, so we're going to go finish looking around over here. We're doing, we're doing making good time. We're only 20 minutes through. And I, I don't know how much more of this area because now we're getting into parts that I haven't done yet with my other character because I got to the shortcut and I stopped my other character. I didn't even talk to Goff yet. But I do know I want to go like that. And then don't go down the ladder this time. Right? Yeah, we want to go this way. We want to drop off here. Go up. There's an item up here, I believe. Yep. Twin twin humanities. We'll be explaining why we're getting why some are singles and some are twins here later. When we do our lore. And then we'll go here. And look, we're right back where we were. So that area is clear. Um 20, 22 minutes seems like a good time. Let's go talk to Goff. Let's level up. And then on the next video, we're going to come clear, finish clearing this, but we're going to go kill that kite dragon first in the next video. So, because we got the, we'll have the, the decks to do it. Um, I don't know how to get that crystal lizard on the roof either. I mean, it's all about, you have to get to them fast. All right. So we are going to level up. Uh, get that to 20. And then we'll put strength to 32, I guess. And then we're going to go back and go see Goff. And that'll end this video. And I don't even know when this video is coming out, which is great. I love doing these bulk videos because now I don't know when they're coming out, when I'm posting them. I post them daily, so you're getting a new one every day. I just don't know when the video is actually going to come up. So it's kind of cool to watch them and be like, oh, okay, so it's coming out this day. I mean, I could do the math and fit, or not the math, but I could like look and go, okay, with this one. Okay. I, I mean, I think this is a weekend video, but I could be wrong. See that bow? That's Hawkeye Goff's bow. And this is Hawkeye Goff. So you can buy poo from him, you can buy homer bones, prism stones, you can buy the carvings that he's making, the hello and thank you carving. He sells regular titanite, large titanite, and green titanite, and he sells his arrows. So if you do kill him, because I think that's how you get his bow. Okay, so what we, what we need to do in order for him to use the boat is we actually have to go down and get to see the dragon. The dragon's got to go flying around, and then we come back here, and then he'll he'll actually get him to shoot him. But like he said, he is blind. The corruption of the abyss has, com has completely take corroded his mask to where he can't see out of it anymore. So he's completely blind. Um, and I have some theories about what happens to giants after a certain amount of time. Um, we'll be going over that. Look at all the different heads he's made. Or he's going to make. I guess those are ones he hasn't made yet. Good dude, man. Good dude. Goff, you're my buddy. 
I will not kill you. Promise. So on that, we are not done with Ulus Hill. We still gotta clear that rest of that area where we got the shortcut from. Um, we, there's two more bosses in Ulus Hill that we have to fight. Uh, there's the dragon, and then there's the abyss itself, which is like this big monkey thing. Uh, where the hell am I going? Oh, I'm going the right way. It's like, where the hell am I going? I'm going bonfire. Um, I want to know where I can teleport to. That's the key. Is this, this bonfire teleport? Let's see. Warp. Fire Lake. Let's go to Fire Lake. And we'll end the video at Fire Lake. Well, we're at 25 minutes. Let's go. Let's go kill us a freaking dragon, yeah? So I kind of like to keep them around 30 minutes. Nobody's really said anything like, oh, no, 30 minutes is too long or anything like that. So we are going to equip the Dragon Slayer bow. We're going to put the Dragon Slayer arrows on. And... Oh, we can actually just go like... I don't know. So I just I was curious where we get to warp to. So we can we have two different ones we can warp to, which is nice. We are going to go to the Sunlight Altar. So we can tell... That's, that's the difference between the Painted World and going into the past. You can actually warp into the past, but you can't warp out of a painting. Logic. We want to be right here. This is where we want to be. Hi. I knew he was coming. So what we want to do is we want to be over... Here. Bam. Come down here. He's going to breathe fire. And he's going to go back up. It should go back up. Ready to fire again at me. I will shoot you. Ah! Maybe we have to be uh, completely under. There he goes. So now he flew back up there. Oops. <laughs> Big bow I'm using. Goff's looks pretty much the same. His is just unique. There he goes. He flew back. Takes like 15 arrows. I wonder if I can hit him in the head. Oh, 174. Yeah, 171. So it, it does three more damage if I shoot him in the head. Not really that concerned about it. I could probably kill him from right here, on, to be perfectly honest. I could probably just... Now that I think about it, instead of going up, I could just sit right here and just...
190. Hey, look, geez, I'm just shooting him in his wing, and it's not—he's not moving. He moved that time. He's like, what's hitting me? I don't know. Let me go back to where I was and I'll find out now. What hit me? I'll jump down here. There's nothing here. I shall jump back. Maybe I can get a better perspective from where I just got hit from. What hit me again? Dilly dilly. Sorry. Low, commenta low commentation when you're shooting a dragon over and over again. This is the same thing you do in Dark is it 3 that you do it with? Yeah, there's that dragon in, uh, in uh, Lothric that you can sit there and just shoot and shoot and shoot but you got to wait till later in the game. And you only give him the half-life before you kill it, before he flies off and you get what you want. This one you actually kill. Um, and then you got the Valley of the Drakes and, uh, or not the Valley of the Drakes, but you got uh, that Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh. Was I actually sliding over when I was shooting? <laughs> what? I was, I guess, as I was shooting him, I was sliding to my right. I wasn't pushing to the right at all. I wasn't moving my analogs at all. I was just holding down the... I just was just hitting um, R1. There wasn't that many souls. I use a common. Where the hell's the dragon at? Why isn't he coming out to play? The muscles back. Wait, where are they? Oh. Wow. That's just freaking bizarre. So I can't tell if I was doing more damage down there or up here. Dragon! Hello! Come at me, bro! I didn't kill him. All right, guys. Well, this video is already three. This video is already thirty-three minutes long, so we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. On the next video, we will pick up and we will take out that dragon. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make fun of me for dying on the stupidest thing I've ever died on before. And uh, yeah, love you all. Uh, description. Uh, there's a link in the descriptions below of other Dark Souls videos I've done. So make sure to go through and watch those. Uh, I love you all. Have a great day. And if this is the weekend, have a great weekend. Take care, guys. Bye.